When it comes to meal timing, we want to think about having protein every day, throughout the day, um, in equal amounts, every four to five hours on average, if we can. If it's more frequent, that's totally fine. Uh, but you know, the science shows that every four to five hours is gonna give us the best potential outcomes to build muscle you know, at the highest level if we are to do this. So basically you get your total amount of protein per day, divide that by you know, between three to four to five meals and have that much protein every three to five hours, I guess you would say, throughout the day. So when it comes to like meal timing, that's what we wanna think about in terms of protein. And that is the best optimal way to you know, get the best outcomes. If you are looking to just maintain the muscle that you've got and you're looking to really just focus on fat loss and your job doesn't allow you or your lifestyle doesn't allow you to eat every three to five hours, then you can still just hit your protein target for the day and not really stress out about it too much. However, the four to five hours option with equal amounts of protein is the way to get the most optimal outcomes. And again, I guess I would say if you're training twice a day or anything like that, or you're very, very lean right now, then you know taking the most optimal approach is going to be the best. Um, with meal timing as well, an area of, uh, of importance is obviously going to be your pre-workout and post-workout nutrition uh, in terms of timing those things. Because if you have a pre-workout meal three hours before you train, maybe you won't feel that energy that you really want. Um, you know, you won't feel that fullness. And uh, you know, during your session, you might feel like you're crashing a little bit. Uh, you know, if you, again, if you have your post-workout meal really, really late, you might not feel uh, recovered either. Or you might not get the energy that you need if you need to be active throughout the day as well. So pre-workout, post-workout, and I guess intra-workout. So, you know, hydration and any carbohydrates you might choose to have Intra workout, if you have a long training session, during your training session, you're drinking Gatorade or, or Staminate or something like that. Uh, these things are where we focus on timing. Outside of that, it's pretty much a matter of just hit your macros every day or stick to the meal plan every day, eat the same foods every day at those measurements, whenever you choose, but try to spread out the protein as best you can. Try to keep fat and fiber away from your training sessions and you're pretty much good to go.